emphatically stated, blurted it out there in the me- right in the beginning. And he was kind of like, I could see, he was kind of like, ah, oh, I could hear it in his voice, ah. Oh. Well, maybe we could try to re- do something. I don't know, maybe just try to do your band. And I was like, yeah, well, see, I came to this conclusion that, I don't know if I said it this way, but I just can't have a band. I'm not capable of doing the band thing now. Just, I never really was. I never had the resources. I never had the 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 drive, the dedication, the know-how, any of that thing to just, you know, front my own band and command yeah. a band. And I'd come to that realization that, if anything, I'll just be a recording artist, as they say, you know, that pretentious, absolute, over-inflated, over-intellectualized statement of fucking uh, smugness that they say, recording artist. I'm a recording artist. Well, I'm Matt obviously boss. didn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Well, we just kept talking, you know, and he was talking about just what he likes to do with music and stuff as far as, like, he's not into just a lot of 4-4, blah, 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 generic bullshit where you can just play it blindfolded and never have to think about where you're going in a song. And then he just started playing a couple of riffs for me over the phone type of thing, I think, and stuff just as far as, like, just kind of twanging out things and... And then we're just, he's just like, would you want to, like, get together and, like, have a cup of coffee or something? And I was like, well, yeah, we can meet up at the Starbucks. Because I was thinking, is this guy going to, like, fucking butt fuck my ass? <laughs> <laughs> is this guy gonna, is this of guy course. Gonna for There's me? always the other side of it. <laughs> is, this, is, this the, is this the Craigslist situation <laughs> where a guy gets in and then fucking clubs me or chloroforms me and then I wake <laughs> up in a basement with a fucking ball this, gag? See and the effect of that? I'm in a goddamn <laughs> fucking... <laughs> What's the name of those things? The clink thing. Or fucking, anyway, I can't think of the name of the thing. Some old medieval fucking clamp. But anyways, you know, <laughs> I'm like the fuck. I'm like Marcellus Wallace in the basement, you know, of the pawn shop or whatever. So. God damn it, man. So, but then I was like, I had Scott with me. I had the douchebag piece of shit still with me. Oh, you met Scott for the first time with him? Yeah, dude. Oh. It was incredible. I could to tell me. stories for years about Scott. Anyways, like, let's yeah, not. Yeah. And then by then, you called again, like, the day after I finally got rid of him. You called, like, that next Monday or something. And I got rid of him, like, that morning. And I was like, oh, by the way, I got rid of the scumbag today. And, uh, <laughs> yeehaw, a great weight off my shoulders. <laughs> so and needless then- to say, but, yeah, so I got rid of him because I just thought to myself, oh. I don't, do I want this guy to be there for another band, you know? Because he's already been there for so many bands. I've been in... I was in the first band that I was in, then I was in the second band, fucking with my brother, fucking uh, Damage what band, or whatever. What were the names of those bands? Damage again? was the only one I really remember. Well, we had this one band with my aunt Rachel playing electric violin, and it didn't really That's do anything. Cool. It was fun, but it never really did anything. It didn't go anywhere. It just my brothers started doing so much fucking dope that he pawned all of his gear for dope and started getting in fights with our drummer over it, and wound up wanting to kill our drummer. God damn it! I keep hitting my buttons. Well, what did you think when you saw this toothless, crazy-haired little guy? <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. We were on the phone. I love you, babe. <laughs> that's the thing. We were on the phone. Little I'm talking guy. to Scott. <laughs> well, and I'm like, do you think sense. we should do this? And I thought, what's the harm of having coffee? So we get, uh, we're sitting up at, um, we're sitting up at the Starbucks waiting for Matt. Just, you know, we don't even know what he looks like or anything. He just yeah. said, you know, I'll meet you there. So I'm just looking for a metalhead-looking kind of guy. Okay. Uh, and. I'm looking across the parking lot. I expect him to be coming up the main drag. And um, he is. He's. I just see this guy from the distance. But then, but then uh, at the moment, I was like, God, you know, that guy almost looks like a fan of metal. That's all I really thought. Like, that guy yeah. looks like he's probably into metal. That's true. And he started heading towards the Starbucks. And he starts walking towards Scott and I. And I told him I'd be with a goofy guy that's wearing lots of fucking douchey leather stuff kind of thing, I think. I Something spotted like him quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trust me, he stood out like a sore thumb. I was like, God. Yeah. Even I him. feel kind of self-conscious <laughs> being in the public with that guy. Because I'm like, God damn, dude. You have to wear the shiny, buckly pants everywhere you go. <laughs> Do you have to wear the PVC to the fucking grocery store? So you guys met? Yeah, we met. Well, he walks up. I say, you're into metal you look like a guy that's into metal something to that effect right yeah yeah i was yeah and you were like yeah are you christian <laughs> and i was like yeah i'm not literally but my name's christian something like that <laughs> it's like yeah you love jeebus uh, something like that and <laughs> then we went and got you coffee said that? No. oh but we went and got coffee and then we definitely just sat down and started talking though, and was, then as we're talking sc- it was definitely one of the screenings right yeah. Yeah. yeah well then as we're talking we're sitting at the table scott's sitting it's like the triangle effect you know we're sitting at three points and uh, as we're, Scott and, and Matt are both facing towards me, and right as we're sitting talking, just about music and the metal scene and stuff, 
this complete poser that I used to know. Like one of those guys that you've known for 10 years and he still sucks. Just <laughs> awful guy, you know? Just, and he's such an asshole, thinks he's great, you know? But he's just terrible. And um, <laughs> kind of like Axl Rose. But, uh, <laughs> but he guy, makes money, though. Uh, not anymore. Oh. I mean, I don't know. That guy, what, one album in 20 years? I don't know. That's not really making a lot of money. No, it's not money. But anyways, it's just, you know, he gets royalties, I guess, for all the old shit. But, um, and that, m- that Arnold smash. Schwarzenegger movie. That's pretty good royalties having the song in that, that fucking Terminator movie. Yeah. Has to be, dude. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, needless to say, he makes money off royalties, I bet. But that's not the point. Now, um... <clears throat> what what changed your... Like, what about Matt... Or what did Matt say that, like, well, changed what... You wanting to join the band or whatever? Well, it wasn't a matter of joining a band or not at that point. It took weeks before we even got to that point, really. But it's like, we're talking November of 09? Or was... Yeah, it was 09, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it was like November, October, November of '09. Because I remember it was freezing ass fucking cold, and I just, my brother had just taken, I'd just gotten rid of him in September, like early September. So it was a couple months after he disappeared. Back on his dope binge of being a heroin junkie who's a legend in his own mind. But, um, so, anyways, yeah. Uh, I'm just sitting there talking to Matt, and I look up. And here comes riding this complete poser douchebag on a bicycle, and he rides by and nods at me. And I just think to myself, okay, just keep your cool. Don't blow up in front of this guy because he might think you're a total fucking psycho and you're going to try to rape him or something. Which is really funny because Matt probably would have appreciated that. I'm trying to keep that thread going of the butt rape possibility. (laughs) I'm trying to ride that and do callbacks on that and stuff. So needless to say, I'm thinking to myself, I don't want this guy to think I'm crazy and then I'm going to try to butt rape him or something. That's why I'm saying going for the Madus thing. But see, it's just the idea that I'm sitting with this guy. I'm thinking I don't want him to fucking think I'm some sort of weirdo because I am. I am a complete mental case. I have got this fucking fucked up thing that makes me super touchy and and misunderstand simple things. And um, so I just don't want to get in an instantaneous argument about metal or something. So in a way, I was being semi-pretentious in the beginning where I was just like letting him talk about the guys he's into. But at no point did I try to pretend that I know who they are. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I just never heard of them. But yeah, I'm sure they're fine, you know? Blah, blah. And he's like, you know, so-and-so. I'm like, no. Never heard of him. But, you know, yeah, I'm like... You've got to understand, we're polar opposites at the end. You well, know? Yeah, see, I don't no, even I listen to music anymore. That. listen to black metal, like... But I don't even oh, listen yeah. to music, period. I don't and even really... metal, but, you know... <clears throat> I listen to Rush. <laughs> I listen, listen to, to that, too? I listen to Rush. You listen to Unexpect. Well, I, I listen to all sorts of different music periodically, but when it comes down to the basic, every time I put on music... Nine out of ten times I put on Rush. Yeah, it's And true. it's just what I it's what I loved growing up and it's just the just just stand alone the most consistently kick ass band I've ever heard. Like they are consistently exactly what you want them or at least expect them to be if you're not some douchebag that wants them to be something they aren't, you know. If you expect them to be something other than what they are, that's where you fail, you know. That's mm-hmm. one of those bands where if you appreciate what they're doing no matter what it is that's a true fan and you're just like yeah, I really like what they do regardless of whether it's overly saturated with keyboards or I don't like Geddy Lee's voice or whatever you know but I like Geddy Lee's voice yeah, I'm Rush one of those is people. awesome man they were really good live yeah I fun. wish we could have seen them in July god that would have been sweet oh well hundreds of dollars yeah right <laughs> gasoline alone Jesus yeah. right so uh, <laughs> what do we do now well, we met, you had met my dudes. Well, the thing is, is we're sitting there, and, and I'm like, God, you know, I want to smoke some weed. You want to smoke some weed? I said, you smoke weed, right? And he's like, and Matt says, yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, I was like, well, and I said to Scott, so what do you think? You think it's safe to take him back to my place? And Scott said, yeah, he seems all right. And I yeah. wasn't really necessarily looking for Scott's approval. I was just looking for that recognition of, like, if this guy tries to fucking do something, are you going to have my back type of look, you know? Yeah. And yeah, you never know with If him. he tries to rape me, are you going to stop me? <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> if he, <laughs> or vice versa. Or you know, vice right? versa. You're not going to try to rape this guy are you Scott (laughs) you never know with Scott Jesus Christ I can tell you some stories but um so (laughs) needless to say yeah um we then uh, we then retreated back to my place and smoked some of this weed that I had from oops what happened what happened what happened I don't hear myself oh it must have been the headphones it's the headphones yeah it is yeah but anyways yeah I'll just take care of this but anyways yeah so anyways we're hanging out we're smoking some weed blah 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 my mic cable got over the headphones. 
But anyways, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that happened, and blah, 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 we're hanging out, and, um, we're talking about metal some more and stuff, and we find some parallels, like, things where we like, you know, like, Deicide, we discover we both like Deicide and stuff, yeah. and, and, I mean, I've never been one of their fans to the point to where I'm like, I gotta buy every album the minute it comes out and stuff, like, I'll pick up an album if I find it for real cheap, but until then, I listen to it when I hear it, you Which know? Which I, I really love Deicide. And I've always enjoyed them, so it was Which one of those things. Which a lot of metalheads don't. Oh, really? Why? Like, I got a couple oh, of their albums. Somehow. That's the what? thing, people People are, Ego. it's that elitist <clears throat> mentality. Yeah, that, elitist. that we were talking about that. that. Yeah, yeah, that elitist yeah. mentality. We can touch on that quite often oh, if you want. Yeah, we'll but do a whole <laughs> every time, so every time we encounter it, we should point it out. Every time we encounter it, we need to point it out, because it's something that's just taking over the music world. Yeah. The elitist mentality. I still like bands, you know, like some of the bands we've played with so far. There's I've liked nothing some more of them. elite than my gun. What? Mm. What? And that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. See, he's so deadpan. Sometimes we're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's just the truth. Sometimes it just, huh? <laughs> That is true. I'm not sure if he's being serious or, <laughs> right? or even trying to make sense. Even sometimes it's like, is, it, is that even supposed to make sense? <laughs> Does this make sense? It's like a Yoda statement there. <laughs> Let me change these around. <laughs> but yeah, um, we were seriously. I don't even know. So yeah, we came back. We hung yeah, out. We smoked some weed. We talked about music. We listened to some music. We talked about this. We talked about that. We talked about band stuff. Like, I talked about how I was in a band and like a couple years previous or whatever, and they totally fucking left me high and dry. I made them a fucking little ultimatum. I was sick of them having stupid excuses. We practiced like three times a week for no reason at all. We weren't playing any shows. Yeah. And just practice, 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 especially through the summertime, dude. It was a billion degrees in that storage oh, unit. Oh, yeah, the storage. That's what, because they don't have in Olympia, like, a facilities. sound arena. There's no facilities sound at sound all. rehearsal studios, yeah, it yeah. doesn't make sense. You'd think that it would, considering, Consider oh, wait, no, because nobody has money out here. Well. <laughs> That's right. Broke so out. they have these storage. Mm-hmm units that like a uh, public storage yeah, so we place where everybody well it's not one of those deals like sometimes like they've been closed down a lot of times like um you know they just they aren't making enough money for all the problems that are being caused by the noise complaints and stuff yeah, so makes sense. but that's because people are stupid and they don't realize they don't have to blast their equipment to the fucking limits just to have a practice you know mm -hmm. they they just crank their shit you know and then you're hearing them all the way from your storage unit you know that they can't hear themselves for shit yeah but they can't hear themselves because their, their sound's going like 200 yards behind them yep. they don't understand the dynamics of when you blast your equipment that loud no, your sound's yeah, passing you exactly dynamics in its own just the volume yeah, yeah, just blast straight past you, and you don't hear it, you know? This one is a lot more serious than 1A. Well, that's because we <laughs> are hitting points and stuff. That's true. We'll figure it out, you know? It's you want to know why, Amber? 1A was a lot better. It's all your fucking fault. <laughs> <laughs> why does everybody fucking blame no, me? But, no, uh, no, so I we were... Uh, no, so we got baked, and he threw a guitar at me, and he's like, here, play. Oh, play he, stuff, I was about to really. say, he threw a guitar at Which you? He guitar got was angry? It? Was it the no. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was a... Uh, Am I the first person you've ever... You should talk about that. You should talk about the the, the, the stepping over the threshold moment. Which threshold? <laughs> what other threshold? The threshold of my house. Like, I came in. What did you first think? Oh, I came into your house? Yeah, what were you thinking the walk back here? Do you think, oh, it's going to be like 15 fucking blocks from here? Or what? Were you expecting it to be this close by to you the You know, honestly, or? I wasn't expecting anything. I was just like, you know what? We're going to get baked. Yeah, so that's, that's all that good. matters to me. Well, I was, yeah, boast, I was boasting up because at the time I had a uh, marijuana prescription. I could afford it at the time still because I hadn't well, been I completely didn't know you cleaned had a out. Well, at the time I did, and I that's hadn't cool. been completely cleaned out, so I could still afford to pay the annual fees and all that stuff. So I still had a little bit of my medicinal that I had personally grown. Which I had to stop doing because my brother was ripping me off and he I also couldn't afford to. Like three blocks away too, so. Yeah, it wasn't that far away. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Get so, your mouth up to that thing. So uh, I was like, uh, yeah, let's go fucking get baked. I wasn't expecting anything. Then when I got in, I was like, oh, yeah. So whatever. I had this little bit of lavender crush. I was horrid, you know. <laughs> I was like, here, try this out because we were talking about good 